What is up, guys? It is your man, the man, Stanley Manley, here with another Smashy Road video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Tank Destroyer. I will be doing episode 2 in a new series I just started called Is It Good? And I plan to do a lot of these videos, so I hope you like them. If I get all the legendaries, I'll might I might do all the legendaries. There's a few I might not do, just because they're either you know too similar to other legendaries, <clears throat> or you know I just they're maybe they're boring. I don't know. You guys might just not want to see them. I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out once I get there. But I definitely plan on doing the flipper and oil truck next. So look out for those coming. Leave which one you would rather see in the comments section below. And let's get on with the video. Now I'm sure you guys all know my little subscribers, because you guys are so awesome that um, in this series, I what I do is I take a car and I look at at its stats from the fandom wiki fandom website. Leave a link to that website in the description below, and I take a look at the stats. You know, if I agree with them, if I don't agree with them, maybe I think it's a little faster, maybe it's a little slower. I don't know, but those stats are based out of ten. And I will take a look at the stats. We'll get some gameplay in the background. I'll talk about any special features it has, such as, you know, oil, truck drops oil. You know, if it gives you five times coins, of course, gonna gotta mention that. That's very important. You know, all that all that important stuff is gonna help you make you a better Smash Your Red player because it's gonna help you decide which cards you should use to get them high scores, like two thousands. My current record is two thousand seven hundred and fifty. That is on a different account than this one, though. That is on my first account, the first two videos. That account is what um, it's on, from the account from those first two videos, where I have 79 out of the cars. But that doesn't matter. What really matters is the Tank Destroyer. This car is a beast. It is ranked 10 on the fandom durability, uh, like rankings, which is, of course, the highest you can get, because it's out of 10. And, but it's only ranked 4.4 .4 out of speed, which is out of 10, of course, too. That really sucks. I mean, the speed, yeah, it is not very fast. I mean, the tanks, even the tanks keep, keeping up with it, and those things are slow. The army trucks are easily keeping up. The police cars easily keep up. But the speed is made up with the durability, I think. It can, you know, take anything from day for days, as you saw in that in those clips there it took it took it a while to get wasted it did eventually but not after taking some serious hits from some serious vehicles but it also happens to be the heaviest vehicle and you're probably thinking stanley why why is that important i don't i don't care how heavy it is i'm not going to try and lift it it's important because watch this boom barely even phased me i ran directly into it barely moved and that's a good weapon you can use it's so heavy that um, when you run into oil trucks, it just, it doesn't even move, it doesn't even do anything. On the, very rarely, it will flip over if you hit it from the wrong angle, but as long as you hit it, hit, as long as you hit it head on, you should be fine. This also comes in handy when it comes to the, uh, tanks, the army tanks. When those, they shoot their little balls at you, little, um, like, what is it, yellow balls, I don't know if they're called bullets, I'm not sure. But, when they shoot those at you, it will explode the other cars, even the army jeeps, it'll flip over, but not this bad boy. You know, again, every once in a while, hits you at a bad angle, you go flying, weird glitch, I don't know. But, that's only on the very, very rare occasion. There is also one, some other weird stuff about this car. My saying for it is, it's one of the funnest cars, it's one of the best cars, it's also one of the weirdest cars. That's because... It's turning is very weird. Sometimes it'll just turn like a normal car. I mean, pretty slowly, but you know, it's 4.4 speed, so that's that's expected. Sometimes it'll just uh, turn really fast, like that, like right there. If a car like hits it towards the back, it'll just like turn like super fast. But if you just do a normal turn, sometimes it'll turn super fast. Sometimes it won't. I don't know. It really confuses me. So turning is not very reliable. I certainly wouldn't rely on those fast turns because they're not always going to be there. But, again, they could. I, like, Again, it just hit me from the front. I just did a full spin around. 
they can be pretty useful, but sometimes they can, you know, kind of mess you up. Especially sometimes when you really need a quick turn, and you just you just don't get it. You, I, it's kind of disappointing sometimes, but really, you just gotta learn to play with it, learn to adapt to it, and you should be fine as long as you're a good player. I keep getting my stuff stuck, and that's another one of the bad things. This car takes a while to back up, and a while to stop. Watch right here. Okay, I am right now holding the buttons to stop. It is still going. It is still going. It is still going. It has not stopped yet until it hits something. Again, another fast turn. I mean, you just you can't you can't operate with this car, and it's really hard, which makes it even harder to uh, back up. That's one of the things I don't like. If you get stuck, and you know you can't, this it may be able to pull a lot of things or push a lot of things, but it can't push, you know, five police cars, five SWAT cars. Sometimes you got to back up. Does it too slowly? You're trapped, and you're screwed. I don't like that at all. I wish it had a little bit more reliable backups. Again, this is not the most reliable car in every sense of the word. But it is reliable when it comes to being a beast and getting objects out of its way and taking lots of damage. Look at those. You see that? Those two cars there, they ran right into me from behind. Both of them wasted immediately. That was awesome. Another fun fact. This is by far, I think, the bounciest car in the game. And now you're probably thinking again. Stanley, what in the what in the world? It's bouncy. It's, it's not a pillow. It's not a bouncy ball. What, it's, not, it's, 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 it's a car. How can it be bouncy? Okay, pillow was not the best example there. Pillows aren't really bouncy, but I don't know. kind of had to think of something off my head. Yeah, it's, it's like a bouncy ball when it hits stuff. Especially rocks. If you see a rock, just I'd suggest just hit it. Hit it as ram into it and just see what happens for yourself. But I'm, of course, I'm going to show you guys here. Now, it doesn't work as well against buildings, but I'll try. Actually, not right now, because I'm getting chased by a lot of different vehicles, so I'll wait till I get some rocks. But let's go. Run into one of these. Dang it, missed it. Ready, boom. Come on. Here we go, rocks. Boom, see right there, bounced off. Surprising, that's just a fluke. That won't happen again. Boom, bounced off again. Okay, no way it'll happen three times in a row. Well, guess what? Yes way, it will, because boom, barely even hit it, bounced straight off. Four times, it's too easy, because boom. It is freaky weird. I don't know. If you're in a tough situation, you want to try and get out of it, just run into a rock. It might work, it might not. I don't know. It's really weird. It is super bouncy, which I think is kind of weird because it's so heavy. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. If you have any idea why it bounces like that, put it in the description or the uh, comment section below, because I sure as hell don't. And I'd also like to give a shout out to a subscriber, actually, who gave me the idea for this video. He goes by the name of Brett Riding House, because that's his name. He gave me an idea. He's like, um, I'd like to see some gameplay of the Tank Destroyer. He really wanted, he wanted to see some gameplay so of, of it, so I said, yeah. That, that sounds good. How about I do a, uh, is it good? And he's like, that'd be sweet sauce. Okay, he didn't say sweet sauce, but something around that area. So, big shout out to him. He also gave me the idea to do a out of 10 system at the very end. And for this car, I give it an 8 out of 10. Of course, not very fast, not very, not very reliable when it comes to handling, turning, and hitting rocks. But sure as hell is this thing is, this thing is a beast. They should rename the beast something else because this thing is truly a beast. It can ram into anything and survive. It's pretty crazy. I love it. I think it's fun. Just, it's definitely worth 100, 100 um, credits in the machine. If you get this, consider yourself lucky. It is amazing. I love it. And just remember, it's one of the oddest. I'm sorry, it's one of the fastest. No, gosh, I cannot talk. It is one of the best. It is one of the funnest. But it also is one of the oddest. So, get used to those controls, and you will be fine. Trust me, you will get to a thousand easily. So I'm sure you guys are all amazing Smash Bros. players. Look at this: push the bus and the tank. That's amazing. Well, that's the video for today. There is one more thing I would like to ask you guys, and that is, would you guys like to have me to add music into my videos? Don't worry, it won't be copyrighted music. Uh, 
my videos won't get flagged or anything. I just want to know, you guys might get tired of this, you know, constant sirens and that music that the game always has on. So, if you would like music, how about this? If you would like me to put music in my videos, type bacon in the comment section below. If you would not, if you do not want music to go into my videos, type sausage. Okay? Spelling does not count because I can, I don't even know how to spell sausage. I think I, I always spell sausage wrong, so just try your best. Don't worry, I know what it is. Yeah, so bacon if you want it, sausage if you don't. And I, I honestly think bacon is better. You can, you know, type in the comments below if you think sausage is better than bacon, but then I think you're crazy because bacon is by far better. Well, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. You know, sausage, bacon. You tell me. I do what you guys want to do. Because you get... To, well, you, you guys are what it's all about. You know? Gotta do it for the subscribers. Okay. Well, let me just die here. Um, I can get the 1500 some other day. There we go. Well, I will, I will see you guys in the next video. Leave your own rating down in the description. You think it's 7 out of 10? You think it's 9 out of 10? You think it's 10 out of 10? Tell me. I want to know. I want to hear you guys' opinions so I can make mine better. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Chances are it's going to be how good is it, Flipper, or how good is it, Oil Truck. I'm not sure yet. You guys tell me. See ya. I'm Stanley Manley. Goodbye.